updated by my pyramid. These guidelines recommend three strains of dairy products per day, and meat is still a primary source of protein. In following my pyramid, a 15-year-old girl can eat a daily menu consisting of a bowl of Lucky Charms with low oh, milk that's and a glass crap. of orange juice from Concentrate for breakfast, cheese-flavored crackers for a morning snack, a cheeseburger on a whole grain oh bun with french God, fries and a no Coke way. for lunch, chocolate pudding and grapes for an afternoon snack, and oh, chicken God. nuggets with a biscuit and canned green beans for dinner, with low-fat ice cream for dessert. I see now what's happening with the way that we feed many of That's our children why, because, in our school uh, systems. We shouldn't be surprised that we're seeing children obesity in the government. That's seeing. why. That's exactly why. Dr. Neil Barnard is a medical researcher and president of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Well, the problem is when, when a kid is yeah, pulling his tray down the school lunch line, yeah. you see federal policies in action. There are burgers topped with cheese, the milk is heavily subsidized, but the vegetables and fruits, a little bit harder to find. And this is because the government contracts are going to particular meat producers and, and other producers as well. It has nothing to do with the health of the children. It has all to do with the financial health of the big anchor business center. There you go. So parents, what we have with the USDA is it's really health. a farmer's advocacy organization. And okay, let's have one. But that same group cannot advocate for farmers, help subsidize their operations, manage commodity food. And you take a picture of it once it's finished. The price of growing things. And well, then they're going to say, okay, we're going we're to tell people what to eat. They're going to tell people what to eat based on their constituents, which are the farmers, not the American public. In 1998, Barnard's group sued the USDA. Every five years, the government reformulates the dietary guidelines for Americans. That's the blueprint of what Americans are supposed to eat to be healthy. And we looked at the panel that pulled it together, 11 people. Six of the 11 had financial relationships with the food industry. So we said, wait a minute. 